is up awesome people and welcome back to my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time walkthrough part 55 so in the last episode we made our way to the end of Spirit Temple and we made up with the sub boss who turned out to be a possessed Nabru and at the same time we also got introduced to the boss of the Spirit Temple so in this episode we're going to be taking on the main main boss of the Spirit Temple which, as I explained in the last episode, is my favourite boss for this game. So, along that note of me saying what I said in the last episode, this is also a two-part boss as well. So this may be a little bit longer than most bosses. Alrighty, so, without further ado, let's continue on and let's get this boss fight started. So head through the door. You'll be led into this corridor. So much for dragging the doors out. Head through this door. You'll be led into this room. Now, it's got a main platform in the middle with four sub-platforms or mini-platforms to the side of it. These will play as our battlefield. So climb up and head to the middle of this platform. Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. My flame, I will burn him to the bone. <laughs> With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. Sorceress Sisters, Trinrova is the boss for, well, the first boss for the Spirit Temple anyway. Alright, so these guys' weakness. Let's see what Navi has to say. If Navi says anything. Trinrova Kuma, Ganondorf's so surrogate mo mother. Okay, Sorceress Sor 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 of Flame. She seems vulnerable to low temperature. And it's basically the reversed for Kumi. I think this is Kumi. Kote, sorry. Ganondorf's surrogate mother, sorceress of ice. She seems vulnerable to high temperature, so basically their weakness is the other. So, basically for this one... Oh, boy, that's bad stuff. Anyways, basically what you've got to do is not that. If you do fall off, just quickly climb back up. Oh, bollocks, just got burnt. So that's a good example of their attacks. One basically burns you and the other one freezes you. Alright, so Kimmy's firing. Shield up! Absorb it with the shield. And remember whose attack you absorbed. Oh wait, wrong wrong boss. Right, help I was explaining this how to do this boss properly. Right. So Ku takes firing, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to take on this. Z onto the other one, and shoot him! Basically like that. Alrighty. The thing I was thinking about was on the next one. So who's firing? So Ku take is firing. So that's Kume. And unfortunately I missed because it was too damn low. So Kumi's going to fire this time, hopefully. Yes. She's going to fire her ice. Gotcha. And freeze it at Kutag. Actually, I've gotten these two mixed up. I can't remember their names. Anyways. Ice, ice Witch is going to fire. Z target onto the fire. Gotcha. I think I just got her too. So that should be all the hits that she has to take. Now it's time to fire fire at her. Nope. She still wants some more fun. And unfortunately, the other one's not going to fly in my sight. So I can't see her. Right, here it comes. Oh, really? It's nice when they don't go in your sights. 
So who's gonna be firing now? So these witches can be pretty stubborn. Right, she's gonna fire again. Shield up! Where's the other witch? No. Nah. She's not gonna go in my sights. She really doesn't want to go down. Right, the no, nope, ice is firing. Where's the other one? Uh behind me. I don't need to... Here we go. Here it comes. Where's the other one? Gotcha. Right. A little bit... Well, we got a look luckier that time. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's get serious now. Could take... Oh, okay, Kuni. Could take and Kumi's double dynamite attack. Oh my god. That's Ganondorf's mother? Alright. Now, that thing I said earlier about absorbing attacks, that's going to happen now. So, do keep in mind which element you absorbed. Either fire or ice. So, I just absorbed fire. So, I need to absorb another fire. See, I'm fire attack number two. So, our shield's absorbing it. On the third absorption, it'll unleash whatever you've um, stored and just before she launches another attack, I'm gonna switch my big Goron sword just so I can do a lot more damage to her. That was lucky. Once you got the third, run up and fire. She'll come down. And just lay into her, lay into her. Right, once you've done enough attacks, she'll start floating and Rinse and repeat. Actually, no. I shouldn't be using the big Goron sword because I can't get my shield back out. Back to Master Sword. Right, so we're going to absorb ice this time. So ice or fire? Another ice. Ice number two. Ice number three. Here we go. Fire! Right, so that's another hit laid onto her. Bring out the big Goron sword again. Lay into her. And, well, what do you know? That was a short fight. That big Goron sword does make a huge difference, though, I will admit. Hello? You're actually going to face me face to face now, are you? Shoot, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious, right, Kotek? Wow! Hey, Kumi, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one there over your head too, Kotek. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old. Wait, we're twins. We don't try to lie about your age. You must have gone senile. Who are you calling senile? Is that how you treat your older sister? We're just twins. How can you be older? Kia, how heartless are you? How can you be so ungrateful? You're heartless. You're ungrateful. Oh, just quit your arguing and just pass on already. I'll come back to haunt you! Ah, my favourite boss. Why did that end so quickly? I shouldn't have used the big Goron sword. Right, where's my heart container? Right, I'm just going to switch back to the Master Sword. Just for the sake of it. Let's run over and grab my heart container. And there it is, folks! The final heart for our health bar. So, we're at Max Hearts, which is fan-flipping-tastic. And now let's head out of here. Let's go see the sage for this temple. Chamber of Sages. This will be the last time that we visit here too. So the sage, uh, the sage of spirits is no other than Nabru. And I'm loving the glitch colours at the moment. Kid, let me thank you. 
Hee hee, look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. Wow, that's terribly glitched. <laughs> By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. Hehe. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No, Crimson, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. And there it is, the final medallion that we need. The medallion, the spirit medallion. You receive the spirit medallion. Nabu awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If only I knew you would be become such a handsome man. Oh, not another one that's got a crush on me. For God's sakes, I've had Rutu and now her. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I'm not, I've been down this track once and you've already, all of you guys know my answer. Anyways, we've got another cutscene. Crimson, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened... The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. And I forgot who your name is, but thank you for the message. He was a one-timer. Alrighty, so there's a Colossus. Where we need to be... Right, we've got two Skullslurs that we need to get. Sorry, one Skullslur. I'm going to save that other one for a little bit later. So I need to get back to Zora's River. But I don't want to go to the Temple of Time because there's going to be a cutscene where there's a Gue coming after me. Right. Now, I'm trying to take the quickest way there. I'll take Kakariko, so... And I've already forgot Nocturne of Shadow. That's funny. Right, Nocturne of Shadow. What are you again? Wrong seas. Right, we're going to play Nocturne of Shadow, seeing how the prelude of light is out of the question at the moment. Walk to the graveyard? Yes. Right, I'm going to get this skull to the first. Then we're going to head back to Gerudo Fortress because there's something else there we need to do as well. I could have done it before Spirit Temple, but I thought I might want to save it afterwards in case we need the Mirror Shield, which I'm thinking we do. So that'll be... the Gerudo Fortress will be for next episode, but in regards to this Golden Skullsler, I'm getting it now because... <sighs> what a pain in the bum. Rightio, so we don't need Kakariko Village as per se, I just needed this as a warp zone. Right. Um, how am I going as far as stock and all that anyway? I'm doing quite fine actually. Got max magic, I've got a lot of arrows, I'm fine for bombs. I'm quite fine for everything actually. Um, just something I was thinking just before I started a couple of episodes ago too. I didn't actually mention it, but somewhere in the wasted, uh, the haunted wasteland, when you're doing the flag part just after the river of sand, if you follow the signpost that was randomly sitting there, keeping your hover boots on, of course, you'll actually come across a uh, a flying or someone on a magic carpet who sells bomb shoes. Now I don't know if that gives you an upgrade for bomb shoes or if you just buy bomb shoes from him. I haven't actually gone and seen him, but I do remember reading about it. So it's there if you need to go do it. But in the meantime, we're heading to Zora's River, Zora's Domain, then Zora's Fountain. Because I can't think of a quicker way. Oh, I probably could have done through Goron City. Oh well, we're going this way. Right, we're going to take the magic plant. I'm just going to call them magic carpets now. They basically are 
almost like magic carpets. So ignore the Octoroks that are still infesting Zora's rivers, or Zora's river. Take it up. Not here. Take it off here, because I don't want to leave it any later. Right, so keep walking along here. It's night, that's good. I don't have to play a sun song now. Right, the usual. Play Zella Zella by. Right, so the waterfall gate is going to open for us, and this will be the last time we need to do this. Thank God. Head through. And why is Zoro's domain still frozen over? That's annoying. Right, well that's so much for the shortcut at Lake Hylia. Anyways, keep walking along. Go past the King Zora up here, who is happily chilling away while the rest of his kind is frozen beneath the sheet of ice. That's great. So much for a king. Anyways, head into Zora's fountain. Right, so we need where the Great Fairy was as a kid. So head along this way. Also, just the something to point out as well. This can only be done in the 3DS version. Um, the sheet of ice that you use to jump on just before jumping on all the other ice pillars, basically in the same location as where Jebu Jebu was. If you come here as an adult and swim along it, I think, you can actually enter Jebu Jebu as an adult in the 3DS version. Now, I find that quite funny because you can't do it in the Nintendo 64 version. Anyways, pick that boulder up now because we've got the silver gauntlets. Get your bombs and don't throw it like I did. Put a bomb down and blow that up. Head way down here, if it's going to let me. Well, this is a good sign because I can't get down there and I know exactly what's down there. Right. So, jars with arrows, magic potions, and for freak's sake, I can't break it. Right, you're probably all thinking, yes, it's a clear path we can run. Well, guess what? For this part, I'm going to move away from the microphone and move forward and show you guys what happens if you're stupid enough to walk forward. And Zelda's, uh, Link's doing exactly what I'm fearing too. He's shivering exactly what I'm doing. Bye, folks. I'm not watching. Now I'm stuck. Well done. This is what I do for you people. I end up sitting about 10 meters away from the laptop just to do that. This thing shit scared me as a kid. I just thought, yes, it's all empty. I can run forward. Well, nope. This game trolled me pretty hard and it made me shit my pants a lot. Because look what's up there. And a whole bunch of dirty bastards. One. Two. Three, four. That was actually the start of my hatred for Skulltalers. Right there. Urgh. Invisible Skulltalers. It does not get any worse than that. And guess what? They reappear in Majora's Mask too. That's not fun either. Rightio, so climb up here. After that terrible, terrible nightmare was just revisited. Hopefully I get here just before it turns day too. Oh, are you kidding me? There's another one up here! Go away! Now you know why I don't like Skulsas at all. Anyways, kill that and grab your hook shot because I forgot to re-equip it. And grab its token. Right, and that's Skulsa number 99. Now the last one is located at Hyrule Castle as an adult, but... 
since we have a B in it, I'm not actually going to say what it actually is. So that's where the last gone Skeletal looks. So far, this is our map. It's pretty good at the moment, and there's our score of 99. It would have been like 101 if I kept the Golden Skeletal glitch going. At the moment, I'll be thinking, oh my god, I've completed it. But yes, we're almost done. We're almost at the end. Well, guess what? I hate to burst your bubble, but we're not. I'm actually going to walk back to Kakariko. Because at, at the moment, that's going to be my hub because I don't want to go to the Temple of Time because that's going to continue the main quest and I don't want to do that until I do the last thing in Gerudo Fortress. So I'm going to quickly walk back here. Actually, you know what? Oh, bugger it. I'll explain it while I'm walking there. So the last thing we've got to do is the Gerudo's training ground located at Gerudo's Fortress. They did mention that. Basically in there there's going to be another item that we can use and it's it's extremely optional but at the same time knowing me I seem to have the most trouble with this part because I don't know why. I seem to miss a, quite a lot of this. I miss a lot of parts within the training ground which means I end up coming very close to not actually failing it because I don't know why I've never been able to fully complete it. So for that reason I'm leaving it till now and I'm hoping when I do the recording I don't fuck it up because I'm going to have to redo everything otherwise. So basically what you get in the Gerudo's training ground is the ice arrows which is your second elemental arrows. So that's the reason why I'm going back and doing this even though I don't really want to, but seeing how I did promise this was going to be a 100% complete walkthrough of Zelda, well, you guys forced me into it. So, I'm going to call for a Ponya. Just so I can get there a lot faster. Right, and a Ponya. Wait, glitchy a Ponya can't get ac across to me. Couldn't cross the bridge, of course. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Stop. Right. Climb a ponia. Let's head to Gerudo's Fortress. Right, so as I said, the reason why I didn't do it before Spirit Temple is I think it needs the mirror, uh, the mirror shield. I could actually be extremely wrong there. But regardless, I'm doing it anyway. I usually do this long after I finish the game. Only because of my mutual hatred for it. And at the same time, inside of Gerudo's training ground, there's a whole bunch of time-based tests of a lot of strategic tests, I suppose. Tests of skill. It's basically just rounding out everything that you've learnt in this game and putting it all in one little place. Just to be a little bitch. So, I really don't mind doing it just before Ganondorf because it really does test you to see if you are ready for it. If you can't get past Gerudo Training Ground, then you really can't get past the final bit in the game. Just having said that, no pressure or anything. Anyways, Gerudo Valley. And, well, I may as well say my conclusions while I'm heading there. So in the next episode, we basically are doing the Gerudo's Training Ground. And hopefully we walk out with the Ice Arrows. And hopefully I don't bugger up at all because... I'm a bit touchy on this. I'm a bit of a touch and go person on it. So hopefully that goes by all fine and dandy. Nothing goes wrong. So until then, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!